most artists work by themselves. Their art is often viewed by only a few. But some artists collaborate with community members to create murals that benefit the whole neighborhood. This is an art chain. I kind of instigated the project, you know, it was like, see a need, fill it. If you turn it on, like, try to head towards there, you might not pay attention for it over here at all. Can we push it a little bit while you do it? Okay, let's try. <laughs> this is going to go in, just move, just move. Out of juice. <laughs> designer, fabricator, architectural metal work and interior things, and I do architecture work too. I love the neighborhood, you know, and I, um, it pains me to see people litter. There's just no reason that because some places, you know, kind of ghetto, that it has to stay that way. So you get this huge plank wall. And it's just proven that, you know, if you've got a blank wall, it gets graffiti. If you've got something that has an image on it, it's just less likely to get graffiti. And uh, it's just visual eye candy, you know? I walk around here all the time, and the neighbors walk around here all the time. It's just, you know, it's a fun thing to have. Neighbors tried to get the get a mural up there just conceptually, maybe five years ago, and it just nothing happened, you know. So they're like, ah, we couldn't get past the manager. So I was like, well, let me try. Uh, I can be pretty persistent. So I, I hammered through that and and went through various channels at um, Ralph's, who owns Food, Foods Co. And then it's owned by Kroger, and it's a whole labyrinth of people. It's just a matter of like you know not not getting a response and and uh, keep on bugging people. So that's. That's kind of it. I don't know if I, it was like a, a genius idea, but it was just like, hey, here's a blank wall, let's do it, and, and let's follow through, and Brian's the right person to do it. Do this little section right here. I'm Brian Barnaclo, and uh, so I'm a painter. Christy Acevedo, she was like living in the neighborhood, and she, um, she thought there should be a mural on this wall, and she asked me to paint it, and so I was like, yeah, I'll paint this mural. Let's do this. This was a project that was like, we thought we could do something to help the neighborhood. And you know, it's like, I, I had a lot of interest in doing this mural because test of like see how big a painting I can make see what I was capable of and so in a way there was like that it was like oh yeah okay this is a big wall you know it's like a challenge you know so there's like that level of it I've been feeling like you know I've been doing more and more painting I feel like I can hit like a big wall and like it's like pulling a stunt you know Also, I want to just put like a good vibe out there as an artist. What an opportunity to like just put out just a good, like just like give back, you know, and that whole thing, kind of thing. It's not all like just like righteous giving back to the neighborhood. There's like a lot I can stand to gain. Like, you know, people, you know, obviously it's like a way to get my artwork out there and stuff like that. A big thing was fiscal sponsorship. We wanted to be a nonprofit, which made donating a lot more inviting. 
I donated. Donations. Donations. <laughs> and I donated. It's a great thing. I think more people should donate to make this happen in all the blank spots of the city.